Resizing images is a very basic function that can be done in PaintShop Pro. However, there is a right and a wrong way to resize pictures in order to get the best results and not distort your photo. For example, I have this rectangular photo and I would like to place it into this square frame. One common situation would be to try to align one corner, then use the pick tool set to scale and reduce the size sideways and up and down. However, my photo is completely distorted now. This is the wrong way. Let's undo this error and resize correctly. Using again the pick tool set to the scale mode, use the corner handle to resize your image and you resize until two sides are the size of your frame. At this point, you will have to cut out some of your photo. So that means you'll have to align it to show the most important part. So using the center handle, you move the photo where you want in order to show what you want. At this point, you will be able to remove the excess around the frame. Using the magic wand, you can activate the frame layer and using the contiguous you click around your frame activate your photo layer and hit the delete key and you can deselect and now you have a photo that is resized to fit the frame without being distorted if I have an image that needs to be sized to a very specific dimension, I can go to image and resize. Using the pixels as the unit, I can adjust it here. If I want to get the exact size, for example, for a Facebook cover image, I might be tempted to go and unlock the aspect ratio, enter the values, which is 828 by 315 but obviously this will be completely distorted and this is not the kind of photo you want to showcase so let's undo this if you have a very particular dimension you need to adjust you will need to crop some of your photo but you will also need to resize it. So it's going to be a combination of both. You will start with going to image and resize, making sure that the lock aspect ratio is checked and you will adjust the width, for example, 828 and let the height be adjusted so it does not get distorted. Since I need the height to be 315 I will need to measure that I can do it with this selection tool and I can go to the custom selection at this point I keep the top and the left at 0 the right side at 828 which is the maximum I just resized it that way and at the bottom I will go to 315 which is the height I want this is the actual dimension of the selection I need to make. Using the move tool and the right mouse button, I can move my selection down to showcase the part of the photo that will be kept. So it will depend on your photo and what you want to focus on. So once you're happy, you let go and then you go to image, crop to selection, and now you have the image that will be the correct dimension for your project.